Second Kings chapter three. Second Kings chapter three. I'll read verse twenty six and twenty seven. Second Kings chapter three, verse twenty six and twenty seven. And when the king of Moab saw that the battle was too sore for him, he took with him seven hundred men that drew swords to break through even unto the king of Edom, but they could not. Technicians, can you sharpen my mic a little, a little more, please? He took with him, how many? Talk to me, how many? 700 men that drew swords to break through, even unto the king of Edom, but they could not. Then he took his eldest son that should have reigned in his steed and offered him for a burnt offering upon the wall. And there was great indignation against Israel and they departed from him and returned to their own land. Amen. Technicians, you've not done anything. The mic advance used is sharper than this one. Uh, am I lying? Uh huh. Even Natal mouth. What have I done wrong? <laughs> God bless. Let him change the battery. Evans has finished the battery. Uh -huh. I, I think it got better now. Yes, please, to save my throat, okay? Please. I'm running from this meeting to Lagos to take another four days meeting from Lagos to Enugu. Enugu back to Lagos. Uh -huh. So, if my throat crack, it will be an issue. I want to go back to the issue that God raised yesterday. What was it? Talk to me. The scarcity of where? I would like you to listen carefully to bring out your heart and your spirit as we discuss. The scarcity of fuel. I told you yesterday, and I would like to reiterate one or two things I said, and then we kick off from there. I told you that one of the worst things that can happen to a nation, I don't know whether I mentioned that, one of the worst things that can happen to a nation is to run dry of fuel. Every machinery, heavy duty machines, automobiles, planes and cargoes and jets, we have to pack. Are we together? Many services will be stopped. Courier services. You know, train service. Because of lack of fuel. Fear. No matter the kind. Whether diesel. Or aviation fuel or gas. Once fuel is lacking, the nation will come to a standstill. 
when fuel is scarce, when fuel is scarce, I think I mentioned yesterday, I said, black market thrives. Confirm? Good. Black market sounds to me like where darkness is making a trade. Hell will be selling things to men and they will be buying because there is no fuel to power engines, to power grace, graces. Allow me to use that grammar. Graces that should stop such individuals from buying what Satan is selling. And I told you, I said, just for you not to get confused, I'm not talking about NNPC or whatever, for you not to get confused, sacrifice is fuel for fire. I am very interested in hitting the matter of sacrifice because to me, that is the core of this meeting. Confirm? Are we together? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. That's what I'm calling fuel. You that gave me time, you better sit down. My problem is that I don't see you until you write paper. I don't, that's the only time I see you. Are we together? Can I pray a prayer here? Can I? May God find fools here. I, I thought you would have said amen. Many businesses that hell is doing will stop. When many of you power your engine, when many of you begin to come alive, when many grace and many mantles that you received begin to come to life, it cannot power without fuel. Fuel is the precursor to power. There is no power without fuel. I want you to take the things I'm saying spiritual. When you take the physical meaning, you relate it to spiritual things. Power of God. Thou power of God. Thou power of God. I call upon you to come here. Is because... There is a sacrifice. Somebody bond the sacrifice to bring him here. Anywhere you go and find God, I want you to know that there is fuel there. There is a sacrifice there. Somebody paid price. History says that Charles Finney's meeting, Charles Finney, Charles Granson Finney, the kind of electric and let Holy Ghost there shocks. You think we shock you? You will think you put your hand inside naked wire. Charles Finney Smith. What is the secret? Two things. Two, three women locked themselves up when Charles Finney was younger. They heard Charles Finney preach. These are mothers in the faith, okay? Not slay girls. When they looked at him, they said, this man is going far, but he's lacking something. One touched one, the other one touched the other one. He said, did you observe what I observed? This one said, I observed it. This one said, I observed it. He lacks Holy Ghost outpour of the Holy Ghost. Fine was lacking it. Fine was like this man in the Bible that Priscilla and Aquila helped. What was that his name? Apollos. Mighty in words. Power.
powerful in all trance. But something was missing. They locked themselves up and refused to come out until Fine got baptized. What was the second secret? Apart from this, this fuel. The second secret was anywhere where Charles Fine was to minister, Father Nash we go ahead three weeks one month two months ahead he will pick a room there and be on dry until Fine arrives oh God yes Nash what do you want he said your servant is coming your servant is coming raw sinners will be coming arm robbers will be coming political figures and political juggernauts will be coming oh lord yes nurse release your spirit let the atmosphere be clouded with your presence for two months So by the time Fine stands up, even if he holds the mic and does, etch, you will come under the Holy Ghost. If he holds the microphone and say, you there, just you there, and that's all. I went to a, I, I, I was in a conference. Can I talk to you, friends? I was in a, I, I want to challenge your heart. That's my job in this conference. I wish I had more time. I have to open your I'm hearing God. Every time I'm preparing, I'm coming, God said, help me. Son, can you help the heavens? Open their eyes. Without sacrifice, nothing will work. You know, I'm surprised that I read my Bible. Even to make covenant with God, he asked Abraham to sacrifice. Covenant. You can't keep covenant without sacrifice. You have to let go of certain things you want in order to keep covenant. Covenant, to make covenant sacrifice. You have to make sacrifice. You have to release something to gain something. When Solomon built the temple of God, and then we are bringing, bringing the ark, bringing the ark back to base to sit in the temple. You know what Bible says? Bible says if they go one, two, three, Solomon will kill 2,000 bulls. 2,000 bulls. How many are you here? I don't know whether you are up to 2,000. So that you can imagine 2,000 bulls. One, two, three. 2,000. One, two, three. 2,000. God called Solomon. He said, boy, come. He came. He said, what do you want? Ah -ah! Blood! Every three steps. What do you want? Even to touch riches, you have to pay the price. You have sacrifice. Even if you say, God, I don't like you. Go to Satan. Let me know whether Satan will give you wealth without collecting something from you. No, try the devil. Try mommy water. Go to River Niger. Dive inside. Tell mommy what I love you. I hate Christ. Give me power or riches or husband or child. Let me know whether mommy water we tell you, be, I love you too. Go. Take and go. No. She will make a demand that we make you an eternal slave to her. So, in that meeting, somebody ran to me. He was a seminarian. Now he's a priest. He said, Daddy, 
I said, I don't know you. When did I begin to daddy you? He said, I know you don't know me. I'm in theology school. He called the name of the school where he is. We'll be graduating in two years' time as a priest. I said, okay. Where did I know you from? He said, you came to our church, AG. He mentioned the year. Roughly six, seven years from that year. What I'm sharing now should be more than four, five years from that year. I said, yes, 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 yes. I remember. He said, I came to that meeting with Piso. I was carrying a Piso, revolver gun, Piso here, dagger here. He said, I was the executioner of two courts. I know you are Otondo. You don't know what it means to be executioner of a court. You are just Otondo in this area. Executioner of two courts, black ass and Vikings. He was the executioner. His elder brother is the Capone. His father is a deacon. His elder brother is the Capone of the court. He was the executioner to his elder brother. Executioner. Any job, any person that said, finish this one, he executes it. Blood was in his hands. He came to where? I came to preach, to chase fine babes. With pistol in his pocket. Revolver here, dagger here, jars here. He said, when you were talking, He said, I saw fire leave your mouth. Hit me. Boom in his heart. He said, the next time I recovered was two hours after the service in front of the altar. He said, that's, that's the journey of my life. And now I'm a priest. Let me tell you, that fire so fuel. At times, six months stretch. I'm eating once a day. At times, I thought three days, four days, inside the six months. I'm not glorifying fasting. It's just that I have discovered that that's one. Two, what is chasing me is too much. Oh, sorry, sorry Yoruba brethren. Somebody help me interpret it in Yoruba. I've just discovered, you have not discovered, me I've discovered, where I am going is far. And I will not get there in the energy of Eba. It is not the energy of Eba. It's not the energy of Fufu, Loi, Loi, no sir. It's not. It's not the energy of rice. I've discovered that forces that are contending with me, they are not laughing. You are the one who has not discovered it. I've discovered it. Year in, year out, at times the entire year. As a boy, I wasn't begging God for money. I wasn't begging God for cow. I wasn't begging God for crowd. I was just asking God before I die, give me space to affect somebody. Before I die, give me space. You know, we were in a meeting, the meeting I normally put together this June that just passed. And I started telling the brethren, I said, if God has in his agenda to cure 10,000 mad people before rapture, tell the Lord, cure 1,000 through me. Give me a portion so that I will not go on extinction. Darwin's theory should be Darwin. He said, Anything you stop using, it will go on extinction. It will wear off. It 
It is true. We read the Bible. I was talking about the fear of extinction. The fear of extinction. Because of the fear of extinction, animals go through extreme measure so that their lineage will not be wiped out. I now studied, I was shocked to see animals that have survived 6 million years, stone age, ice age, age where dinosaurs were wiped out. I was shocked to see some animals that survived to date. Their species is still alive. I now wanted to know how I saw the measure they took. So I turned my Bible. I had Job saying, Job said, ah, before I go extinct, he said, my breath is corrupt. The graves are ready for me. I'm about to go extinct. God, because you are not using me again. You are not using me. You are not using me again. You are not using me. I've come to meetings. I'm sharing with you, friends. I'm just sharing with you. But adventure, God will give me the heart of three, four, five, six, seven, maybe ten persons. I've come to meetings. I didn't know. I didn't know. It's just that I looked by one side of the meeting and saw that people there were wearing traditional attire. The same traditional attire, all of them. So I felt maybe it's a group that came. I just ministered. They cried to the altar. My host called me. He said, man of God, God bless you. I said, thank you, ma. She said, you don't understand. She said, you see these people here? Wearing native wears. I said, yes, ma. She said, these are prostitutes from so-so-so brothel. We went out with our boss last night and asked them, how much do they pay you a day? How much do you make? They said it. We doubled it. With all of you come for program. Imagine them coming to sit down and then I'm jumping up in the pulpit like a Chinese monkey. Somebody, God, he's going to take you somewhere. Yesterday I was at New York. And when I left New York, I went to Old York. Say to your neighbor, New York. Say, New York. And when I went from New York, I found myself in Kuala Lumpur. Oh, somebody, you can see this shoe. I bought it in Kuala. What are we doing with your shoe? Eh? Souls are born in hell. You are showing us your shoe. What am I doing with your shoe? A woman is sitting down here whose husband just died a few days ago. And you are talking about your shoe. What are we doing with your shoe? There's a young girl who is sitting down here burning with the fire of Sodom in her pants. You are talking about your shoe. You are telling us about old York and New York. Imagine me wasting that opportunity. Heaven would have beat their finger and say, Ah, Vin, when you come to heaven, you will answer us for these souls. Imagine me coming up here and there is no sufficient fire to drown their fire. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. That's what is missing. There is no fuel for our engines to make noise. There is no fuel to activate many grace that are left untouched and untapped. There is no fuel. Some of you who surrendered, you surrendered partially. Some of you who surrendered, surrendered some. You are not a whole bunch offering. You only gave wave offering. You know, if you read the Bible, you will see where God described offerings. 
There's one, he said, is wave offering. You take it and wave it like this. There's another one, he said, cut off the arm and the breast. Wave it like this. Carry the rest, go. But some, he said, this must be whole bond. Sacrifices. Hey, it's missing. Thrones will soon be empty. Our father, W.F. Kumui, is growing old. In fact, he's old. The bishop of this cathedral is getting old. Our father, Enoch Adeboye, is growing old. Do I have time to talk about the founder of Mountain of Fire? He's growing old. Thrones will soon be empty. Without princes to climb on them. Are there no princes? They said there are princes, so but they are not sacrifices. You know, I read my Bible and discovered that the Bible said that David climbed to the throne. Talk to me. What did I say now? I don't like the way you are behaving, friends. Talk, talk to me. What did I say now? David climbed the throne. Say it again. Yes, the Bible made that statement. David climbed the throne. He climbed the throne. That is to say, step by step, if you watch the wisdom with which Solomon built the throne, you will see six steps. Talk to me. Two, two lions per step. It was an inspiration that came from the laying on of hands of David. He was trying to tell him, my friend, each step you have to conquer the lion contending with two tribes. You climb another step, you contend with the lions contending with God and Asha. Until you conquer the twelve, you sit on the throne. But Bible said that Solomon was set on the throne. He didn't climb it. He didn't experience Adulam, the cave. We are men who are weary, tired, angry at themselves, go in and come out generous. He didn't experience that. Mighty men of David, confused people, weary people, tired people, ran into the cave of Adullam and came out, mighty men of David. Cowards came out bold. He didn't experience it. He was set on the... They just took him and flew in the air. Dodged all the lions. And kept him there. By the time women shook him. Women shook him. And women will shake you. Come and bet me. You see, one thing about the anointing is... Once he comes, nobody will remember the anatomy of your face again. Some of you whose faces are, are beyond description now. You know the way your face is now. At times when your neighbor turn, is the person will just shock and coordinate himself again. <laughs> it's, not, it's not for the anointing. No. Once it rests on you, nobody cares about your face again. It doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter again. Everybody wants to see you, touch you, be with you, hold you, hug you, embrace you. People who chase ladies are dry men. People who have substance, ladies will come after you. Unfortunately, you are not a sacrifice. You are not slaughtered on the altar. Nobody put a knife on your appetite. Nobody did that. Here you are now. Oh, 
beloved. I'm talking about the scarcity of fuel. Fire is not missing. Fire is not missing. What is missing is fuel. Sacrifices that can make the fire burn. Talk to me. Can I confirm? Did you follow me to this point? You are not talking to me again. Did you follow me to this point? Aha. Let me share this before I get back to the scripture where I read. Can I? Somebody gave us a report from one of the universities in Enugu. Let me withhold the name. It's been quite some years, but I drew a lesson from it. And every time some issues come up, I remind myself of those lessons. She told us that two girls were quarreling in their hostel over a boy. Foolish girls. One young boy who was drinking hero somewhere. Two of them we have quarreling in the hostel. And this one goes to fellowship. This one is Esco in the fellowship. They were quarreling in the hostel over this guy. And we are, they were poking themselves. I've not seen where two people are quarreling over Jesus in this generation. In fact, I, I was angry the other time. You know my anger? Michael Jackson died. News carried it that almost 17 persons hung themselves. The number that fainted could not be, could not be, could not be. 17 persons said, I can't live with Michael. If you want to know whether it's true, browse Michael Jackson. Browse what happens when he comes on stage. You know that podium in Madison Square Garden that usually bring him from under and smoke is everywhere and then he stands like this. He stands like this. You will see women shouting. People are fainting. People are mad. Somebody will hold his head and be shouting. And be running like, like people are mad at his appearance. And then he will do his head like this. And then there's this thing he does his hand. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's something he does his hand and anything will come out here. When he does that, the entire place will scatter. So Michael Jackson died. Roughly 17 persons hung themselves. Jesus died. Nobody wants to die. Nobody has agreed to crucify at least your flesh. Every Easter, we pack jollof. We drink wine. We crucify chickens and we spare ourselves. You know, you may try to laugh, but there's nothing funny about what I'm saying. You didn't die last Easter. Why? Your anger didn't die. You see it? Your lust didn't die. You tell lies too much. Why didn't your tongue get crucified? You gossip a lot. You have finished your fellowship with gossip. You have finished your church. What you have said about the reverend and his wife, if they bring it out, it will fill the entire all sins. Why didn't you crucify your tongue? Can I finish what I'm sharing? Can I? Uh, you don't want me to finish it. Can I? So, while the heat of the quarrel charged, one of the girls went and set fire in the gas. Uh, sorry, he set water on the gas. She lit the gas and set water. So, people felt maybe she wants to use it to bait after the quarreling. The 
the water boy even beyond 100 degrees she emptied it in a bucket they were still quarreling she made as though she was entering the bedroom and returned and emptied the entire bucket on this sister the thing was corrosive like acid it ate the ear ate the eye ate the nose ate the hair ate everywhere skeleton came out on her face like this her neck like this hot water the boy extra 30 minutes after he got to 100 degrees When other girls saw it, they marveled. You know, they chuckled. They ran out and called the porter. Porter came and saw it, ran out and called security. Security came in. Hey, who did that? Who did that? Who did that? Who did that? Come here, come here. The girl said something, stepped like this, and turned into a cobra. Everybody started. The way you shouted, Everybody took up. Some girls flew the window. <laughs> now, now listen to the problem. Listen, 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 listen to why I'm sharing this. Listen. Some fellowship leaders, sisters, coordinator, we are in this room. In this building, nobody saw it. That a cobra from year one is in final year. Many of them now started shouting. Jesus, she don't give me food chop. That one said, Don't give you food chop. Me, where they rub cream, where buy for me. Inko. That one said, You don't give me perfume. Now, why are no why are they see snake for my dream? I said, Why won't you see snake? And the people talking this thing are product of our church. The people talking this thing are either in ASF or SUCF or RCF or MCF. Look at what we are saying. None of us saw one cobra. I know why. The fire of revelation is looking for what? Talk to me. It's looking for what? Fire. Give me one sacrifice. Somebody that will submit himself as fire to the fire. Let me allow revelation born. He didn't find fuel there. He didn't find anybody who said, I give myself away. Yeah. I give myself away. So you, you can use me. I give myself away. Ha, huh. oh God. I give myself away. So you. Men and brethren, it is scarcity of fuel. That's why, that's why your home is like this. I was in fellowship when his sister came up to share testimony. You know, there are testimonies that when you hear, if you humble yourself, you will know that you don't need to preach much again. God has spoken. He that is from above is above all. coordinator you may be the one calling prayer point somebody pray somebody pray and there is one sister coming from the mount she's above you what sacrifice sitting down there he that is from above john 3 said is above all Talk to me. So, the 
the sister came to give a testimony. She said, Brethren, praise the Lord. We said, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We said, Hallelujah. She said, I want you to join me and thank the Lord. I want to tell us the succession of how my life came to this point. Long story, but I will make it brief. She told us and said that she was born to the Ezemo of the entire community. The father was the chief priest. She said there are seven altars in my father's house. At times when you come out to urinate, you will see strange beings sitting down eating. At times you will wake up and your bed is so cold. Only for you to look around, you see about three anaconda lying near you. It was, it was normal to be abnormal in their house. She said at times you wake in the middle of the night and you hear drum. You will come out and see only somebody's leg doing like this. Somebody's leg will just be doing, only leg will be doing like this in the middle of the night. They became used to it to the point that they would just face one side and urinate and go inside. They got used to it. Fear swallowed them until fear swallowed fear. The father ran seven altars. Around 17, she got born again. How do you survive here? Eh? How do you survive here? With the kind of thing you practice as Christianity. How do you survive here with, with 20 minutes, just 20 minutes? Go to the hostel and rest. 20 minutes you came online and browsed some small, small, small porn site. Within 20 minutes that we gave you break, how do you survive here? These demons will slap your tongue. It takes a sacrifice. She now said she started praying and said, Lord, help me. What do I do? God came to her and said, shut yourself in until I tell you to come out. That set apart. The one you go and say, eh, today is Sunday. Eh, mm, by Monday 12th, I'm out. Can't just set apart, oh? I'm going for set apart, oh? I will see you on Monday. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what kind of set apart do you know when you are going to come? <laughs> ah, she stayed there, eating nothing, drinking nothing, not baiting. Three days. Seven days. When she said more than seven days, I had to salute her. She has passed the capacity I know. Fourteen days. Eighteen days. Twenty-one days. She said the twenty-first day, voice came to her ear and said, stand up. Praying, studying, just praying. Seventeen, eighteen years old girl. Voice came and said, stand up. She stood up. The voice said, anything you want to do in this village, do it. Ha! Open check. Can I pray for you? Eketekai. Ambleteka kuria. Ratata. Kamine teila. Receive on common grace. To pay prices. To make sacrifices that will open the doors of heaven for you. In the name. Jesus. Anything you say, anything you say, anything. So she walked out. She said she went straight, took her bait, and walked straight to the dad. 
and said mpa he said yes he said summon the entire chief i want to see all of you she turned the man said how dare you ask me to summon the entire chief but, but i will summon them but how dare you but 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 <laughs> spirit was talking he summoned the chief the entire elders of the clan she told them and said i give you people four days after four days if you don't come and remove this thing from our compound i will burn it don't try it though without a voice behind you fuel is what is missing fuel why is my message so hard for you to understand it is fuel Some of the indiches say, ta, abomination. If you try it, we will kill you. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? These wicked chiefs, these wicked men, these wicked men are some of the reasons why you are the only one that went to school in your family. Wicked men. She said, three days. They went and mobilized the youth for her. The entire youth came in their anger. When they came at her, she called the youth, she called the youth leader and said, help me tell others. Anybody who strikes me first, his seventh generation will keep dying. The power that came out of the world Youth, guys, 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 two aside, guys, why two aside now? Why two aside? Generator is on. Something generating heat is on. Something generating power is on. There is fuel in this girl's grace. This girl has led a sacrifice. When Elijah kept the altar in place, the altar in place, poured water, ran about the trench. That was a price. Bible said before he finished talking, how I wish somebody would hear me. May the labors that men have put forth in this meeting may it not be in vain you are not permitted to go back the way you came how can you i called some of the sons that were with me we were in a vigil one day i told them i said there's a prayer point i don't know how to pray it but let us pray it they say what is that i said let us tell god i can't continue living like this and i can't die like this i can't continue like this neither can i die like this so there is no option it's just one thing help me help me Obinigwe, help me who go away to, to war which soldier goes to war at his own charge how do you give a man a mantle and a mandate without a spirit to accompany him how Ministry and Christianity is difficult without fire. When the youths went back, three days later, she gathered the shrines and burnt them. The entire community, neighboring communities gathered to watch the city burn. You remember yesterday? Talk to me yesterday. Professors suspended their lecture. Shipmasters, is that pirates? Suspended the helm of their ship. Army generals dropped their grenade. 
dropped their AK-59. Timbers and calibers came to watch a city born. Because God saw fuel. Treasures he could use for fuel. Now, look at look at Second Kings where we read three. Where is that brother that read for me yesterday? Where are you, sir? Is he around? I, I yes, come and help me. Give him spare my place. Second Kings 3, 20, 26, 27. Ah. I feel like praying. Eh? I feel like praying. People are suffering, you know, and you are holding the answer. People are suffering. I went to orthopedic hospital to see a daughter who had a surgery on her leg. And when I came there, I saw people in sorrow. Hi, brother. Brother. Hi. I can't forget the sight. And then I observed one, one woman. One leg was cut off already. The remaining leg was under bandage. Doctor said, three days from now, we will chop it off. When I sat there, I had voice. I turned. I asked the daughters, I said, tell me, what's going on here? They started laughing. I said, why are you laughing? They said, they said sorry, sir. We're not laughing at her. We're laughing at the way the woman talks. She's funny. At times she would just be shouting. Nina Tuma Tubamo. Nina Tuma Tubamo. So the thing used to be funny to them. You know, people chasing me, they are chasing me. Oh, they started. They oh. And I said, What is our history? They said the woman was going somewhere and then hit the leg mistakenly somewhere. The thing swelled from swelling. They tried to fix the swelling. The bone cracked from cracking. The bone decayed. They cut it off. From femur here, they cut it off. I said, This one, uncle, they said she was frying plantain. Oil from plantain dropped on this leg. The thing started decaying. Doctor did everything to apprehend the situation. Nothing. He put bandage there and wrote 27. We chop it off. Here I am, a savior. I told to her, I said, Madam, I am God's oracle. Allow me to exercise the lordship of my Lord over bone. He said, He that made the eye, can he not see? He that made the ear, Moses said, I am a stammerer. God said, I stole what? Who made the tongue? I grabbed the two legs. I said, Ripa Baba, come in the Oh God. Sending fresh blood. I groaned. I groaned. I groaned. I left. The upper week, that daughter called me. I said, sir, it's a miracle. I said, what is it? They said, the woman is discharged. The entire leg, life came back. Can I pray for you? May people who are in need people who are in pain people who are in despair may they not meet you and go back the same I like your tecumia I ran takakris 
Christus e pei rakaka e komina te rakia Christus I pray for you whatever God must do to your vessel whatever God must do whatever God must do to your vessel may heaven do it so that everybody who is marching down to hell who is in agony who is in pain when they meet you may they meet solution may they meet a savior may they meet a redeemer how many people will die before you wake up how many people will die before you become a fool how many more of, of your brothers will you lose you lost your mother you pretended as if nothing happened now they've laid hands on your sister where will you see that god is looking for fuel sacrifice that will struggle with me allow me put the fire sacrifice that was fight with me some of you are fighting with god over cloth cloth daughter remove this cloth you say lord by the way what is wrong what, what is your problem you are fighting with god over cloth whereas the lion wants to roll off from you yes within 20 seconds can something roll out from within you let something shout from inside you from inside you lion of judea lion of judea Now listen. Now listen. When an 18 years old girl faced seven altars, something buried inside was gaining expression. Fire is not lacking. It is fuel. No sacrifice to give us burnt offering. Roll from inside you. Instrument way. Roll Some of you are carrying grace. Enough of the cage. Give it expression. Take a papa, a 
Kratasa teko nite, belate kami, rata sarate ke eperi, rata takemi na Christus, orende kapabaika, kapabaika kumia, oleke te perus eta, rata takama, rata takama yo, okele kumi rata, baba rata, baku rata, baku ra, esopra takuri, rata takame, wabili kama.
Listen, listen, look at me. Look at me. Now listen. Now listen. When my sure prayer. Now listen. Listen. The king of Edom wanted a breakthrough. He was fighting with three kings at once. The king of Israel, Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, and the king of Edom made a confederacy. When they came against the king of Moab, and the man saw that they were slaughtering him, in fact, Elisha prophesied that they were going to have victory. Elisha was in that battle. I saw the king of Moab wanted breakthrough. The Bible said he wanted to break through. So he laid hands on 700 men. That drew swords. You see the problem. You want to risk another person's life. But you are not ready to drop your own. He wanted to sacrifice 700 men to know whether he could get breakthrough. The Bible says he failed. Until he grabbed his son. His son that should have taken the, the throne in place of him. When he killed the boy, even God turned his back. There was a great indignation against Israel. Fuel. The man wanted breakthrough. So he made his son a fuel. He laid his son a boy. That should inherit his name. Ah. When God saw it, he said, What did my people offer to me? 
he turned his back on them listen if you can locate somebody in your group locate somebody in the fellowship where you're coming from locate somebody in your school if you can locate somebody in your school those of you from any school if you can locate somebody hold your hands together in another 10 minutes or 5 minutes because of time in 5 minutes you are going to pray God rest out of us rest out of us men that can break through I I friend technicians Mike, 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 Mike rest out of us you cannot pass my school by everybody will get your school
Ayana Bella Safala Taliaka. Elohim is here with us. We are not standing alone. Elohim is here with us. We are not standing alone. Elohim is here with us. We are not standing alone. Elohim is here with us. We are not standing alone. The living fire is here with us too. We are not standing alone. The first man in the fire is here with us. The first man in the fire is here with us. The first for us who would have wanted everybody to keep praying but we must also do other things now we are not stopping you 
from praying. If you if you are not satisfied, I mean, if you are not, if you still want to keep praying, please don't stop. Keep praying. This is a church and it's a house of prayer. But we'll be going for our lunch now. Now, but before we leave, I want to say something and then we'll make announcements and we'll share the grace. You know, I said something yesterday when I was making my address. I said, it is not just great meetings that make men, but it is the decisions they make after those meetings that make them. Some of you have, been, have received instructions, personal instructions on things to drop, on things to begin, on things to cut off from. If you want to be great in life, heed those instructions. While we were preparing for this conference, all through the OLC prayers, neck prayers, pre-conference prayers, everything, I was just begging God, 100 men only. If we can only get 100 men, that is 99 plus me, that we catch fire in this meeting. For me, it's just only 100. That's what I was telling God. If only 100 people will arise from here, change. I think the millions we have spent in organizing this conference will not have been a waste. Now, the man of God that just finished with us, he has a Telegram channel. He has a YouTube channel. He has, he has a Telegram channel, a YouTube channel. Now, his, YouTube, his Telegram channel is...